That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. This is Annie Lanzalotto. I'm lifting coffee with Bob Viscusi. And we're talking about the Italian American Writers Association's big party. Celebrating 19 years, going for 20. Here he is, Bob. This is important. Go to the Iowa website, iawa.net. Join Iowa. You can do it with PayPal, or you can send us a check. The address is right there. We are going to have a party on the 25th of September from 6 to 8.30 at the Istituto Italiano di Cultura, the Italian Cultural Institute, a quite splendid Beaux-Arts mansion on Park Avenue between 68th Street and 69th Street. We will have food, we will have drink, we will have one another, and we will have Annie Lanzilotto, who is going to do something really magnificent that night. It's going to be a great chance for us to be together, to remember why we have Iowa, to plan for our big 20th anniversary bash in a year and a half, to talk about other things that we're going to do. It's not going to be a meeting, though. It's going to be a party. But in order to come, you have to be a member. If you join, we will send you an e-invite that you will never forget. At least we hope not, because you won't get in without it. So please go to our website, iowa.net, and show that you really believe in Italian-American literature. Iowa's function, as it discovered itself, has been to, first of all, make sure that there is this space for discourse. That there is a way for Italian American writers to to share useful experiences, useful information, contacts, all that kind of stuff. And in these 20 years, lots and lots and lots of people who would have just been filling file cabinets with manuscripts have been publishing books and winning prizes and getting jobs and teaching writing in colleges and all this kind of thing. And our editors of important journals, you know, and uh, many of them have come into this thing through Iowa. So it has served as a kind of a, a, an incubator in a way for lots and lots of careers. And there's a handful of us that absolutely committed ourselves to it. Um, you know, plenty of times when I got out that newsletter in the middle of the summer and there was nobody else around, you know, Vittoria Repetto would collect the information put it in some kind of order and send it to me, and then I would, you know, copy edit it and maybe move things around a little bit or whatever and get it out. And no matter what. And we had a reading no matter what. There were times when not too many people showed up. Now we get great turnouts because we've learned a lot of things over the years. We've got new people who've involved themselves in it, Maria Lizella and Gil Fajani and other people, younger people, um, uh, Nick Matros, Angelo Deola, who, you know, uh, Jessica Femiani, uh, Lisa Paolucci, these are very dedicated young people. In fact, despite what the sociologists told us, we are, after all, Italians. And Italians doesn't just mean crates of grapes and bottles of olive oil. It means people of a certain civilization, people with some kind of, you know, my, the, my first memory in life is my grandfather, who was an immigrant, talking to me about Dante Alighieri. It's the first thing I remember. I think I was two years old. Uh, it's not unusual. You know, there are a lot of people like that. Um, a lot of these immigrants who appeared to have nothing had something. It's something very profound. They had a sense of what it meant to make something, what it meant to do something beautiful, what it meant to be persistent, what it meant to care about that kind of stuff. And there are many, 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 no one knows how many Italian Americans. I mean, it seems to me like in, even in the younger generation in my family, 
everybody wants to be an artist. You know, many of them maybe end up as accountants or high school teachers or whatever. But they don't, so many of them start out wanting to be artists. Some of them actually become artists of one kind or another. They become visual artists, they become writers, they become musicians, they, you know, whatever. But there is a very strong collective will that such a thing should exist.